Get your bar. Bar away. Put that in your pouch. Put that in your. Corner boy. Come on. Young man. Mira Jalan. Bar and Marvin. Bar and Yoga. You're at Marvin. And this is what we're doing here yeah, to protect the site. Yep. Does that and eats that food source. So you've got the branches for the maya for the house, the nyarin, this is the marine, the food for the nyarin, the ringtail possum. Then you've also got the medicine part of it, so to chew it down the leaf and bite it down and chew it and extract out the peppermint and the oils for when you wanted to put onto your mozzie bites and blowflies and march, march um, bull ant bites, march flies, all that. Mm -hmm. You got it as a breath freshener to breathe in, use it as a breath freshener. You can drop it in. We showed the Bustle family how to use this and they actually drop it into tea, steep it into water and make peppermint tea from it. Mm -hmm. Um, then you've got the whistle, like I was showing you before, you can make the whistle and the noises from it and calling on different animals and different <laughs> birds and stuff. And then when you get the thinner areas like this, that's when you can turn around and, and it's stripped back and made into like a rope that you can use for like binding your Maya Maya or your house, your Maya, your house up. <laughs> for the dark. The knife, the handle for the darp, for the knife, you use the handle as well. Also, you can use some of that for a kaj, for an axe as well. Um, so yeah, Universal is a really good tree. It's got mm -hmm. many uses. It's a Swiss Army knife tree. As a Murich burner, strong, <laughs> deadly tree. Of this um, belladonna, deadly nightshade. So pull like dig up around. so they'll actually come up, come up so you can actually do a lot of the digging and pulling them up and then keep going and then every time that the seed or even a management plan is every time that the seed pods come up we come up and then that's a, not, that's a job that say the rangers and that other people would do if you had cultural rangers would come and um, remove the seed heads so it stops that reinfestation of invasive species of those weeds over and over again yeah, yeah it looks like the chalk pen Yeah, you got chocolate. Thank you, Pretty good to me. Right. It's a magic thing, man. I'm telling you what.
Yeah, are all the orum lilies out of this area, and later on, back towards the front. Depork and poison all the rest of them off there. As long as you get the poisons without some of the caves. But up in here, there's a fireplace here. Then up, and our, pro our worry about having a fireplace here is if a spark drips out and goes, the people won't get out of here in time because of the what's some oxygen will get sucked out of here if a fire takes off. People from Narrabut wouldn't get away, and then it would run back over, up over the hills here along the ridge and burn all the houses and everything back there so you're gonna you know you're gonna have another catastrophe if people keep coming here and making fires like this. Here was the graffiti, the blue graffiti with the writing all over it. And down here was where they scratched their names in and stuff like that. But all the candle wax is all over here. And all around the place there's candle wax where people have candle wax. To build all this area up so we yeah, try and protect the place and look after it. Because when people come up here messing around, they forget. You have a look around here, there's all these little marsupial tracks, racehorse goanna tracks, and carpet snakes, and, and then you've got all the little birds and bats that live up in the holes up here, like swallows and the bats. You know, smoke gets up there, you know, dries them out, so it's just choking the animals, frightening all the little animals away and stuff like that, you know. So, but yeah, so we're onto it now and we'll keep trying look after it much as we can, but me and Tony are getting a bit old for this now. <laughs> Young ones should be taking over and doing this. Yeah. So they're doing a the job of pollinating everything, everything in it too, to keep you know, everything growing. And like I said before, the little swallows are everywhere here trying to live. So as long as you respect the place coming here through the day, don't go making fires and stuff.